I'm Mark Brown. It's Jay Duke. And I'm Mark Ray McCullough. And, and this, this is Mark, Mark My Words. Words. Like I said, man, just, you know, in this time, I just, I focus more on self. Yeah. I've learned more about myself. Uh, I mean, you, you got people that know more about presidential candidates than they do themselves. That's a problem. Like, from the dynamics right now, I I personally think, and I'm not, I'm not saying who I voted or who I would vote for. Well, what I'm saying is from the dynamics right now, I think that Trump is the front runner in this race. I mean, we'll see. You know what I'm saying? I mean, the, the early voting numbers are so high. I mean, just as many people that that there are, they're trying to get him out. Yeah. It's just as many people trying to keep him in. So I don't know. Cause I like what are the what was this statistic? Um, I forget what the stakes was, but it was like basically there was a stat that was like okay, uh, presidents running for re-election, mm -hmm. which is what yeah Trump like is doing. The percentage of them winning, or the percentage of them being re-elected is yeah. high, and this is different. This year different though. It's. It's morals, it's, it's people's lives. Like, people, it's, it's really, like, it's, like, their early voting numbers have, like, skyrocketed. Yeah. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, folks, it's, this election is, like, the most important, like, you know what I'm saying? People looking at this, like, life or death for real. You, you know, know what I'm saying? You know. I, don't, I mean, we'll see. Yeah. Some people think he gonna be in there for more. Some people, you know, I, I saw a TikTok. It was, like, Trump win, you know, all the black lives matter. <laughs> And TV, they're gonna riot like we're, we. Anybody, you know what yeah. I'm saying? If they was like, if he doesn't, we're coming. I yeah. got my guns ready. I'm like, yeah. Uh, I, don't, I don't. I'm just. I'm just scared of how people gonna act either way. That's yeah. all I'm saying. I'm in it. You know. I don't know, bro. That's just that. I don't know. That's, that's just. And it's a banner. You know what I'm saying? And it's a banner. <laughs> <laughs> I'm saying. I just. I don't know, man. I just. I. I. I, I think. I think. I have a feeling that, that Trump is the front runner right now. And I'm not saying I agree with that. But, you know, as far as the outcome, I mean, it's it's going to be mayhem either way. That's you know what I'm saying. saying? That's, so that's all just, I'm... Either way, know. it's going to be people angry on both sides. Are, are, you, are you comfortable with talking? To, and I'm not talking about people that you know, family, but I'm talking about, you know, somebody that you're cordial with or possibly a stranger. Are you comfortable talking to them about why, why you voted who you voted for, that whole thing. Because I was taught at a young age, is there's about three things you don't talk, don't about, talk about with most people. Money, religion, and politics. Hey, they said the fourth is LeBron. <laughs> they said that's the fourth, that's the newest LeBron. But go ahead. <laughs> oh, I've seen that on Facebook. Yeah. So it's like, you mad to throw no. LeBron in there too. No, I actually, I actually uh, posted something. <laughs> uh, What'd you say, money, politics, and what? Money, politics, and religion. Mm -hmm. uh, my my fourth thing was basketball, because yeah. and I think I actually tweeted this because it's like, I mean it's it's some wild it's been some wild stuff being you know tweeted or taught yeah. you know as far as basketball but yeah are you but you know back to my question are you comfortable yeah especially this election any other year it would kind of be like you know people try to keep that stuff under wraps but this one is. What what makes you so comfortable? It's pretty black and white. Just it's this is a I don't want to say common sense, but this is a it's pretty apparent where you where your morals lie. Right. With this one, there's no gray area. It's not. It's not. Because if you're on this side, it's like okay. But if you're on this side, it's like we see what you're okay with as a person. Okay. You know what I mean. If you don't align with these same ideals this candidate has, then you're okay with it, and you're empowering that. Okay. Well, well, answer me this. And again, I'm not, I'm not gonna say who I voted or who <laughs> yeah. I would vote for, but my thing is like, okay, Trump gets a lot of the, the backlash. All right. You know, my thing with the Democratic Party or or, or Joe Biden is. You telling me that I'm not who I am, who I live, you know what I'm saying? Like, who I am, what I live for, what I stand for, you telling me I'm not that mm -hmm. if I don't vote for you. 
You get what I'm saying? I took that as, well, you know, we've talked about it. But you know how I took that. Yeah. I, I took that as you have the person on the other side who is. Right. A white supremacist. Yeah. And you're saying, as a black person, why would you want to vote for them? Right. So, if you want to be technical, of course, you can be black and vote for Trump. Of course you can. I mean, you know what I mean? That's what I'm saying. How am I supposed to feel that, you know? Yeah. But human nature. Right. Oh, you telling me? Man, I'm going to go to the other. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to go to the other route. Right. You telling me I'm I'm black? I got to vote for you? Man, I'm going to vote for Trump. That's, you know what I mean, human nature. But I took it as, if you black, why would you want to vote for Trump? Right. I mean, you're free to do whatever you want. but. That's how I took it. But then again, we talked. Me, you, and E. E was like, well, I don't know if you or E said, took it as you thinking black people not smart enough to like. But that, yeah, no, that's what I said because my thing is, you know. Have a mind of their own. Although, type, you know although you know, Trump, you know, got some antics or, or he kind of makes the headlines of, you know, he yeah. said some outlandish things yeah. and, you know, his following supporting cast. Yeah. You know, they kind of with the antics. However, at the same time, you know, the other party, Joe Biden, Democratic Party, you know, you telling me, that's all you've told me, basically, that I'm not, if I don't vote for you. Yeah. Well, why should, you haven't told me why I should vote yeah. for you. You feel what I'm saying? And he, he got a and, black, and, black and I think I think, I think, I think that's a problem. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know. Yeah, it's this, that, and the third going yeah. on over here. Yeah. That a lot of us, you know what I'm saying, no matter what ethnicity or race you mm-hmm. are, opposed with that. However, at the same time, it's, you know, man, come on, man. You just telling me I'm not, you know, mm-hmm. I'm not black if I don't vote for you. To me, that's 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 a that's a that's a that's questioning my intelligence. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I think that's why these debates and stuff are so important too though. Yeah, because you you getting topics about address this, address COVID, address race, address the economy, address this, and it's they get to say they're playing for each of these things. But then you got robotic flies distracting the whole world from the debate. Yeah, that's true. That's that's true. But then again, <laughs> <laughs> who said robotic flies? <laughs> it was right here. <laughs> hey, bro, no, but uh. I feel like presidents don't really keep their word anyway. So, you know what I'm saying? As far as plans and, and, and really making stuff shake. And especially the first four years. Because they feel like the first term right. of, of a presidency is cleaning up the mess the previous president made. Okay. So, are you, are you familiar with... Um, are you familiar with the whole ordeal as far as... And, 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 and Ice Cube... You know, he came back and cleared himself and said that, yeah. you know, he's not a Trump supporter. He's not backing Trump. It was just, yeah. you know, okay, if you're going to be in office, this is what yeah. this is what we need. This is what our people need. Yeah. Can you follow through with this? Yeah. Uh, what, what, do you, what do you think about that? I understood that. I mean, when he explained it, I understood it. I mean, people were just, I mean, that's, that's Ice Cube. That's NWA. That's, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. So... When it, the news broke that oh Ice Cube is a Trump supporter, you know what yeah. I'm saying? That kind of shook everybody. And I feel like it's up. so easy to do that. Easy to do what? To just you see a headline, and it's yeah. just like, and, and I've said that a lot too. Like I'll see stuff on Facebook, and then I'll just tell my dad, like it'll be some basketball stuff. It's like some news will break, like so and so is traded here, or so and so a quote. Mm-hmm. It's easy to just manipulate a Photoshop some to where somebody says something. Or yeah. like a stat or something. Right. People don't fact check anything. Yeah. So. And with the help of social with social media, like as informative mm-hmm. as it is, um, and and as great of a source yeah. as it is, it can make you forget like that. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Because there's so much information. Yeah. Being put out, and then it's instant. It's right there yeah. in your face. You get what I'm saying? Yeah. Like people think it's just everything is facts. Yeah. Everything. Right. Like. For example, I'm saying like it could be a picture of Kevin Durant from 
some graphic bleacher report that made somebody done whited it out and put LeBron James sucks with Dash Kevin Durant and people yeah. are like oh snap and it's yeah. it's not even true right you know what I mean it's just easy for people to believe stuff but once he I could pull up the tweet but he says something he has what's the plan he made for black people was it like five hundred billion or something like that uh, yeah some D L Hughley yeah so like we saying D L Hughley tweeted the inside story of how Ice Cube joined forces with Donald Trump. And then Ice Cube quoted the tweet and said, join forces, stop pushing these BS headlines. Right. Cause, so it, it's easy to latch on to something and just run with it. He said he hasn't endorsed anybody, of course. He said, black, pro- black progress is a bipartisan issue. When we created the contract with Black America, we accepted to talk to both sides of the aisle. Talking truth to power is part of the process. Facts. I put out the CWBA. Both parties contacted me. Dems said we'll address the CWBA after the election. Trump campaign made some adjust- adjustments to their plan after talking to us about the CWBA. Okay, so so moving, moving with that. All right, and it's you know we just kind of playing devil's advocate. I already know where you're gonna go. go you know, you know somebody is not for you, right? Uh, as far as perception, um, you know, stereotypes and things like that, mm-hmm. you know they're not for you. Mm-hmm. Uh, they don't stand for you. However, they can help you. Yeah. Would you allow that person to help you? What was the first thing you said? They can help you, but what was the first thing you said? First thing was, you you know they don't stand for you. But I would say that's a contradiction. How can they stand for you and help you? Because if they don't stand for you, they're not going to help you. So how would, how would that I get what you're saying But right. like people that don't You know what I mean At the end of the day Your morals are always gonna Align with what you You know what I'm saying Because my thing is They may not stand for you Yeah You feel what I'm saying But you know It, it could just be a, Like a, a a wise Or yeah. a, a smart decision To Yeah Okay if I get them Or on I board, see Or like a, like a money Right Deal Or some people you see it As like a money I see what you're saying Because that's, that's That's the one thing I will give You know Trump is you know you're about his business. Yeah. That's one thing, you know, regardless I think, of Yeah. I think that's why a lot of people feel. support him. Right. But and then you know when you do when people of color there are some people of color who do don't necessarily support Trump. Yeah. However, you know what comes with being a Republican may suit them yeah. and and their lives and their families and I I don't think it's I hate I hate the fact that okay if, if 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 you know a Republican lifestyle mm-hmm. fits them mm-hmm. and that's what benefits them most, opposed yeah. to Democrat, they should be able to practice. You get what I'm saying, right? Yeah, right. Now that makes sense. the Republican Party may be, you know, and this and, and I'm kidding. This is just to to mm-hmm. you know this is just to prove a point. But it's almost like the the Democratic Party mm-hmm. is like a you know is like a HBCU. Or, or 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 public school. The Democratic is inner city. Yeah, you feel what I'm saying. And and the Republican Party, that's the that's the predominantly white institution, private school, yeah. or whatever the case may be. And it's just like, mm-hmm. okay, if you go to the if you go to the inner city school or you go to the HBC or whatever, okay, you with the in crowd, you cool. Mm-hmm. But there's lack of funding, there's lack of resources, you know, mm-hmm. scarcity, lack of jobs, whatever the case may be, lack of opportunity. As a person of color, mm-hmm. you may go to you know the Republican side or private school, mm-hmm. predominantly white institution. Oh, you're Oreo, you know you are you are you yeah. a traitor or you ain't black, yeah. or whatever the case may be. Like yeah. at the end of the day, and I don't know, man, it's 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 tough for me because at the end of the day, like I question like you know with all this race stuff. I mean, I'm a black man in America. Yeah. You know what I'm saying, and, and I don't, I don't hide from that. I don't run away from that. You know, I embrace it. You feel what I'm saying. But at the end of the day, it's like, you know, is, is, is race? Is it actually about skin? Is it actually about the mm-hmm. the tone of my pigment, or is color a status? Yeah. You feel what I'm saying because you know when when you think of when you think of black, you know, you think of not so much of just our culture, but you think of, you know, like if somebody say you're acting black, you feel what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. 
you know, you're you're ghetto mm -hmm. or you don't have any home training mm -hmm. or you're a criminal or, you know, things of that nature. Yeah. If you're acting white, yeah. you know, you're uppity, silver spoon. Yeah. You get know what I'm saying? You have resources. You might yeah. have money. You know, you go to private school, whatever yeah. the case may That's be. Tough. So it's people. just, I don't know, at the end of the day, regardless of whether you agree or not, you know, people should be, should, should feel free to, mm -hmm. uh, to exercise, yeah. you know, whatever political views that yeah. they have. Yeah. Uh, and I think it's hypocritical to, okay, whether if it's Joe Biden saying it or whether if, if it's, if it's African-American people, whether if it's people yeah. of color saying it, you know, telling somebody that they're not black because they're yeah. on this side, that's hypocritical. Yeah. How are we going to grow? How are we going to get better? Yeah. If we're, you know, I thought it was unprofessional. Joe. I want it, I thought it was unprofessional. Joe Biden said. I'm just saying, I, I kind of get where he was going with it. Right. He shouldn't have said it, especially him running for president. He shouldn't have said that. But my issue is, like, you, that was a good analogy you said. The Democratic Party is more like the inner city, and Republican is more like the PWI. Or I'm seeing people, black or white, because it's, it's people, it's black people that are for Trump, too, mm -hmm. and people of all nationalities and whatever that are for Trump, too. So it's not just, you know, white people are for Trump. It's... Every everybody of every color votes for each party. Right. I'm seeing people that more align with, like you said, the inner city, right? That are for. I'm are, talking about as far as like, go ahead. Are people are people really for Joe Biden and the Democratic Party, or are they just are they just not for Trump? Because here's my thing: it's like it's yeah. just like winning. You know what yeah. I'm saying? Like, you know, some people's hate for losing yeah. is far more than their love for winning. Yeah. You feel what I'm saying? And 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 I think essentially that's what I think it is. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like whether if it's Joe Biden or Joe Burrow, people really don't care who's in yeah. that Democratic seat. They just don't want Trump. I mean, you could, could run. Yeah, we gotta get Trump out. You know what I'm saying? That. Yeah. I mean. That's just the truth. <laughs> if you what's meet, the, if the, me and you at the debate, the, they, uh, they, 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 yeah, Jay, yeah, more. What's the, uh, you know what I'm well, uh, what's the, 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 the Shannon Sharp mean? Joe Biden, Joe Burrow, Joe Brown. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, with the, with the, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. They be, you talk about the one they be doing with LeBron too. Yeah, you talk yeah, about yeah. With, the, with the Lakers and four, yeah, yeah, Lakers yeah. and four. It don't matter. Yeah. Be, uh, for real, that's how people like. uh Biden and foe. But yeah, I don't I'm, this is his, I don't know. Yeah. This is a historic year. Period. But this being an election year too. Which that's a whole another conspiracy. People think just with COVID and, and everything else, it's an election year. You know what I'm saying? It's yeah. a, that's a whole different but I don't know, man, we'll see. It's just when you I I don't know, man. When, when you I'm, see I'm, people advocating for this one side, right? It's like you okay with that? You know what I mean? Yeah. You okay with that? I and, and and the people are okay with it because they think that same way. Right. Yeah. You, you know what I mean? <laughs> we got. He's saying it. Yeah. Oh yeah. He. I'm glad he said it. I right. ain't gotta say it. Yeah. Right. Go. You know. Right. Go him. You know what I mean? And that's my issue. Because I'm. Yeah. You know what I mean? I'm just not. You know. You can vote for who you ever you yeah. want for. I'm not saying people don't need it, but when you advocate for that, it's like. Okay, we see, you know what I mean? And yeah. some people don't know any better. Right. Like we talked about a situation earlier today. Yeah. Stuff is learned. You know what I mean? We Everybody's the same. We're all the same. It's not, we all look different. Everybody's the same. Everybody got family. Everybody want to be loved. Everybody got fears. Everybody want to be successful in life. We all the same. Yeah. But we let political parties and skin color and, yeah. you know, what you how tall you are how, yeah. did we let all that just affect everything like we all the same bro. I'm just telling you. I, I seen a um, I seen a uh, a meme a picture or whatever and it's uh, it, it broke down the word politic mm -hmm. um, yeah the word politics yeah. um, I'm looking at this picture and it breaks down uh, the word politics poly uh, which means many and then ticks uh which means blood sucking parasites. And when I seen this, I was like, wow, like, cause my thing is, you know, although Trump gets a lot of heat, you know, 
it's two tails to it. Yeah. You know, you got Joe Biden and the Democratic Party. Like, we are such in a frenzy over over these two parties. And we're such in a frenzy over these two parties, essentially over these two human beings. And I just, you know, I'm, I'm a, I'm, I'm, I would probably say I'm kind of a, like a conspiracy theorist kind mm-hmm. of guy. Not to, you know, I, well, I'm a thinker. Mm-hmm. I'm, you know, I, let me scratch that. I'm not a conspiracy theorist. I'm a thinker. And my thing is like, okay, you got. <laughs> you think the earth is flat? <laughs> That's a whole different one. <laughs> <laughs> the. Uh, all day does not necessarily, you know, vouch for anything. <laughs> yeah, you got it. Nah, you got to tag that. But uh, now, nah, man, we're such in a frenzy over these, essentially these two guys. Yeah. Dude, they can be in a room right now laughing, smoking cigars. Like, look, we, you know, like, mm-hmm. that's how powerful we are. Yeah. We got these, we got these little whatever. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Like literally running around, you know, in a frenzy, worried about this COVID, right. you know, opposing one another. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Fighting one another, killing one another. Yeah. You know, that's how much power we, like I, I, I think about stuff like that. Yeah. They can be in a room right now smoking cigars and just looking at America figuratively and just laughing about it all. Like, and, you know what I mean? Yeah, like <laughs> hey, we got it, man. It's a good, you know. What yeah. I'm yeah, like it's a good show, and yeah. yeah, man, keep it going. You know right. what I'm saying? Hey, next right. time, you know, do this a little more, man. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Man, yeah. Entertain you know? yeah. hey, make it look real. You know what I'm saying? Like it's it's really like. Hey, that. Susan, do we have a bigger fly for the next debate? <laughs> for real, like you know it could I mean? all be a. You what, know what I'm saying? What, di- what distraction do we have? And that's why, yeah, like for the next debate. I'm just like, man, we just we all human, man. It's not. We can't let all this stuff get in the way of. But one one thing I will say, man, where where I feel like I've grown is, um, man, in this time, and you can even throw COVID in there. Uh, but then this time, man, it's it's in this time, I've grown to to think more about myself. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? More about me, my life, my mental health, mm-hmm. my family, mm-hmm. um, future family, people around me. You know, loved ones, friends, like it just I've I've drawn more to think about myself in which I'm be honest, man, I don't I don't have I don't have too many of these conversations today. Um, uh, one because of, you know, money, politics, religion. Mm-hmm. That's you know, those are things I don't really talk about with a lot of people. But just man, it's 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 so much focus on, you know, social issues, COVID, you know, sports starting back or whatever. Uh, politics, mm-hmm. um, healthcare, just, why, uh, uh, what do you call it? Uh, natural disasters, yeah. um, famine, Nigeria right now. SARS. Uh, SARS, you know, the open fire on, on, on peaceful protests. It's like, yeah. it's, it's so much going on right now, and I'm not insensitive to any of those. Mm-hmm. However, when you're so wrapped up in those things, mm-hmm. you can forget about yourself. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And, and you know, just kind of, you know, just kind of wrapping it up. Ultimately, what I'm saying is, and this is just me, I don't, y'all going to kill me for saying this. Me, honestly, I don't care who's in office because at the end of the day, I have to make the necessary changes, changes, adjustments, I have to get up every day and go, you know what I'm saying, and go get mine. Mm-hmm. I got to get up in every day and go build for myself, uh, for my family, and for those around me. Life is short, man. I don't have time to sit and debate or wonder or or, or be in opposition with somebody on, you know, some old guy that can barely get down an aisle, right. which one is going to better right. my life for me. You feel right. what I'm saying? Like, uh, I don't know. That's that's just that's just where I am, man. Um, you know, to 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 a certain extent, I feel like, and this is just me and how I feel about politics in general. I feel like 
we allow politicians and even the government, we allow them to control us. Mm -hmm. We allow them to control us and we forget that they're human as well. Mm -hmm. You get what I'm saying? Like whoever sits in the Oval Office at the end of the day, he's he or she is a is a human being and they're not perfect. And so I with me in my life and me and mine, I choose not to, you know, put all my eggs in that basket. You get what I'm saying? Now, are are there some things that, you know, if this candidate is in office, it, it can affect me this way? Mm-hmm. Yes, I'm not oblivious or, or naive to that. If this person mm-hmm. is in office, good or bad, positive or negative, with their views or their plans or whatever will affect me this way. Yes, I I, I understand that. Mm-hmm. But at the end of the day, you know, we're we're all beings. You get what I'm saying? Yeah. And we all have control of our lives and yeah. um you know, man, you you can you can make your life as prosperous um as prosperous as you want. You know what I'm saying? Now that's easier said than done. You know, you gotta get up and grind and go get that. Mm-hmm. You get what I'm saying? But uh I just it, it bothers me that we, you know, we spend so much time focusing on, you know, these quote unquote authorities. No nah, man, you matter. You know what I'm saying? You you control Mm-hmm. You know, your twenty three chromosomes. Yeah, is it twenty three or twenty six? I think it's twenty six. Twenty. I know it's I even. Yes, yeah, even if you break it down. I don't want to miss. Yeah, yeah. I'm sorry. Uh, I I wasn't as good in science class, but you catch y'all catch my drift. You get what I'm saying? But mm-hmm. you 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 but control the, yours, man. The thing everybody don't think like that though. That's, yeah. that's you know what I'm saying. If everybody thought like that, we'd be straight. Yeah. But everybody don't think like that. So when there's other people that think other ways. And get caught up in everything else, right. then that naturally, you naturally have to care and start. You know what I mean? Kind of feeling like you got to pick a side or pick. You know what I mean? Right. But I mean, it is a bigger picture, man. I mean, but I just want to see the aftermath, good or bad. I mean, I, I hope it's good, but yeah, I don't know. It's just it's just a big one. It's I, it's the biggest one. Yeah. I mean, I only been here twenty three years, but I mean, you know. Before everybody been saying this is the biggest one yet. So, as we wrap up, not to dial back too far, but what we can't do, man, is uh, well, I'm, you can do whatever you want. I'm not gonna say can't. Uh, what we have to do a better job is, man, we have to we have to stop doing things emotionally. Yeah, you get what I'm saying. Everything. Like my thing is, why are you for this person or not for this person? Yeah. Is it because you, okay, their views, their plan or their ways or whatever, it just don't suit me? Or are you so emotionally, you know what I'm saying, driven? Mm-hmm. And is, is 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 that why you're voting this way or not voting this way or whatever the case may be? I think that, that got a lot to do with it. Yeah. Just because we've never had a president this open and blatant about how he feels right. about certain people. Yeah. Races of people, right? You know, what I mean, events. I mean, it's just you know. I think that's what has everybody. So cause, cause it, here's my up. thing, and I don't know I assume I had to keep the cameras rolling for this one, but here's my thing. I'm gonna break it down. We're gonna we're gonna break it down a, a few levels again, mm-hmm. right? Uh, that's why I asked you. You know, somebody is not for you. Yeah. All right, but they can help you. Yeah. And it's on a- the table. You Would know, you allow them to help you? I need to play the clip. I seen a Dr. Umar on Nick Cannon's show, on Nick Cannon's podcast. Yeah. He said, I'll strike a deal with a with a whoever. Yeah. You know what I mean? The other extreme, right. whatever, as long as it's for black empowerment. Right. You know what I mean? He doesn't care, yeah. which I agree with. You know what I mean? Okay. But my thing is like, if you think this certain way, you're not going to. But if you're looking at it as like a, a financial gain, right. then maybe. You know what I mean? I okay. see what you're saying. Like if Donald Trump is like, oh. I might create this fund for black people because it's gonna make me a million dollars. Right. And he essentially does it. Yeah. That makes sense. Right. So I, I get what he's saying. Right. Uh, if you strike a deal with, with yeah. someone who might be a racist at heart, yeah. but you know, it's gonna make them some money. And and, and and since you put it that way, let's like I said, let's let's dumb it down to athletics. You know, there's there have been um maybe not coaches or maybe coaches, but there there have mm-hmm. been um, you know, owners mm-hmm. and, and, and members in the front offices of, of 
you know, professional sport franchises yeah. that that practice, you know, racial discrimination yeah. or, you know, stereotyping, just unjust perceptions. Yeah. You know, they're 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 owners and, and, and people in front offices who who practice those things. Yeah. Yet we still got guys that sign contracts and suit up for them. What's the difference? That owner, you you know what I'm saying? That that you it's in the open. And that's the thing about social media and the media, mm -hmm. cameras and stuff like that. Like mm -hmm. it's it's out in the open. Yeah. So it's like like the whole thing with Donald Sterling. You get what I'm saying? Yeah. Like the proof was there and it was in the pudding. Mm -hmm. Yet guys still suited up and played for the yeah. LA Clippers. That's why athletes are so they think so much before they make statements right. about stuff because they're getting money from brands and products and their team. So my and thing so you is, see somebody like Colin Kaepernick yeah. who just risked it all, right? Because he stood on yeah. what he believes and what's right. But going back to that though, okay, and that's another thing. Like when I say somebody may not be for you, mm -hmm. it may be indirect. It may they may not necessarily come out and say anything, mm -hmm. but in your mind, you're on a podium. You may be even on live mm -hmm. on your phone. You know, there's a certain way you have to conduct yourself mm -hmm. because you know if you go step outside of that, mm -hmm. that's going that's that's gonna be unpleasant yeah. to 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 your endorser and to your employer. Yeah. And that's why I respect Cap so much because it's just like, mm -hmm. nah, I'm gonna be me. Mm -hmm. You get what I'm saying? And, and and he did have to sacrifice a career. Um, who's to say he still wouldn't be playing today? Yeah. Um, he would. I'll go ahead and say it. he would. Do you get what I'm yeah, saying? You know what I'm saying? Um, it's not even. But again, what's the difference in you know players suiting up for for some of these you know owner figures yeah. in the front office, um, if not front offices yeah. as as a whole? Yeah. What's the difference in you signing up or signing a contract mm -hmm. and suiting up for them? Then you know. Okay, my views with this person yeah. may not align properly, uh, but they can help me. You know what I'm saying? Like, is there a difference? You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Or am I reaching? Man, that makes sense. But I mean, it's people's livelihood, so people kind of look at it different. You know what I'm saying? I, you know, what I mean, we could, we could. It's different examples. We can branch out to different things. But I thought of the Atlanta Dream owner who doesn't support Black Lives Matter and the WNBA is 80% black right. and you own a team. You know what I mean? And all the players are, I mean, they, they did their own kind of protests. I mean, they wore shirts like advocating for the candidate. I think she's running for, I don't want to say the wrong thing, but she was running for some position and power and all the players were wearing vote for whoever the opposing candidate was. You know what I mean? Right. But they but, didn't stop. Did they stop playing? But going back, they didn't stop right. playing. Right. Well, that's two points. You know what I'm saying? Two points. So would so if you were in that situation, would you would you not play? And then, me personally, especially the WBA, where people talk about this whole whole different topic, where people talk about how much they get paid, and you know what I mean. We know that some of them play overseas and off season right. in the WBA. People, you know, what I mean, dispute about the salaries, yeah. how it should be more and stuff like that. What would you do? Put put yourself in their shoes. What would you do? If, if I you was have in, a if person I was that's... In those, if I was in their shoes, with both things you said, as far as, you know, okay, she's running for, she's a candidate for this mm -hmm. running or whatever. Mm -hmm. uh, and then she's also, she also uh, is the owner mm -hmm. of this franchise. First, what I will do is, I'm not going to make an emotional decision. That's what I'm not going to do. By playing or not playing? Or, you get what I'm or, saying? Or, Regardless of what I decide to do, it's yeah. not going to be, it's going to be, I'm gonna to go to the drawing board with me, you know, my family, Thank you my that. significant yep. other, and okay, what's the best for me? Mm -hmm. Which is essentially what is the best for me and my family. Mm -hmm. You get what I'm saying? And you know, as far as our views and what we believe in, you know, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna play for someone because at the end of the day, they're, that's they're playing for them. That's the owner of a team. Mm -hmm. I'm not going to play for someone. I'm not going to play for someone that is openly against me. You get what I'm saying? So you would Or do I have a business mind, you know, 
which at the end of the day, them checks are rolling. Them checks coming in. Whatever I decide to do, I'm, it's not going to be an emotional decision. Now, with that being said, the answer to your question is, I don't think I can play. It it wouldn't sit right in my soul. You get what I'm saying? That, you know, because my thing is, okay, I, I know you're this way, mm -hmm. which doesn't compliment me mm -hmm. or, or people who look like me. Mm -hmm. um, and so for me to, you know, to, to sit here and, mm -hmm. you know, put on a jersey that you own and, 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 and put my body on the line for you. Yeah. Nah. Yeah. You get what I'm saying? For the, for the players. Because, because, are, because yeah. you know, at that point it's like, I feel like you trying to, you trying to sell me. You mm -hmm. feel what I'm saying? And, you know, now to be playing professional basketball, dream come true, you know, and, and, like it's like a a microscope of a percentage of of athletes who you know who gain opportunity to play at the professional level. Yeah. Now with that being said, you know it's a bigger picture. Yeah. You know it's bigger things in life. Yeah. You get what I'm saying. So you know if I had to pull a a Renee Montgomery, you know, yeah. and, and and take a step back and you know do some things for myself and 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 find ways to, um, you know, to continue to bring money in to pay the bills, yeah. I'll do that. You get what I'm saying? Yeah. But, you know, but to, you know, somebody that's open like that, openly like that, mm -hmm. and not just verbally, Twitter, social media, yeah. and press conferences and all that, um, nah, you know. And, you know, if, for me to feel obligated to what she's signing my checks, you know, yeah. I, I I think I will have more of a, a more of a cap yeah. approach. Yeah. Um, Teachers on. I mean, yeah. it's pros and cons either way. Yeah, but you know, it's just an interesting situation. Yeah, he's just putting a predicament, especially the the players that aren't well off. Yeah, the vet that that hasn't got the contracts right. over the years. You know what I'm saying? What about the second, third year players? That's you know what I mean. The need that you yeah. know what I mean. That's at any any league, NFL, WNBA, NBA. Yeah. You know anything? You know I mean, yes, yeah, it's, it's it's definitely tough. But again, I, I think that just goes back to you have to make a you have to make a fundamentally sound decision. Yeah. It can't be. It's just about know, what you your emotions. How how much do you prioritize what you stand on? Right. That's really what it comes right. down to. You know what I'm saying? Like my thing is, I was I was pro Kyrie. Yeah. You know, with the whole bubble situation. Yeah. But you know, you you got some of these younger guys in the league or not even younger guys you got some of these guys in the league that that ain't making a making a fraction of Kyrie money you know what I'm saying and you get what like, I'm saying so my thing is you know yeah they want to you know protest or, or or you know stand for equality and you know do x y and z um uh, but at the end of the day they have bills to be paid you yeah. know they they got family to take care of uh and those guys whether you agree with it or not they have lifestyles yeah uh, you know they got they 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 have certain lifestyles that they live uh, that cost a pretty penny. So, but but like I said, me personally, you know, I don't I I'm I'm not gonna obligate myself to a person or a situation just because you know I'm in a certain position and I'm getting paid X mm -hmm. amount of dollars. Yeah. Uh, because at that point, I feel like you're putting a you're putting a price limit on yourself. Yeah. You're putting a price tag on yourself, and you know. It, it, it's, it's you got to stand on something, man. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. That's, Good that's, or bad, you got to stand you on. You know, it's your 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 worth is infinite. Yeah, you get what I'm saying. Uh, you know, max contract or ten day contract. <laughs> you get what I'm saying. Mm -hmm. Like your 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 worth is infinite, and so that's a good that's uh, a good one liner, bro. Yeah, man. But you know, it mark, just mark deep, bro. <laughs> Mark is deep, bro. Yeah, Your man, worth bro. is infinite. You know what I mean? <laughs> that's facts, but hey. Yeah. So that's a but, good uh, one, bro. But yeah, man, just I like that one. To to wrap all this up, man, you you know, politics, sports, life, finances, whatever, man. You gotta whatever the case may be, man, you, you, you have to make a you gotta make decisions that are best for you, um, and those around you. And the best way to do that, to the best way to do that, man, is, you know, 
best way to do that, you, you know, you got to take out the emotions. Yeah. You get what I'm saying? Um, not to say that you won't feel those. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, not to say that that won't impact or influence you in some way. But mm-hmm. when it when it when it gets down to when it gets down to the nitty gritty, when it gets down to decision making time, you know, because emotions change. Mm-hmm. You get what I'm saying? You could be feeling, uh, you could be feeling a certain way one day. Mm-hmm. You get what I'm saying? And make a decision, and then a week later, you get it. You know, you feel in a totally different way, right. and it's just like, well, man. You know, I feel this way now, mm-hmm. which means I would have made this decision. You get what I'm saying? Yeah. Uh, so if we can prevent ourselves from making emotional decisions and make sound, you know, thought out, just decisions, uh, I think that'll put us all in, in, in better places. Yeah. Whoever wins this presidential election, you get what I'm saying? Like they, yeah. you know, I, I see the world for, for how I see it and, you know, they're not going to come pay bills in my house. They're not going to put no food on my table. Yeah. Um, you know, they're not going to pump blood in my in and out of my heart. You feel what I'm saying? Those are those are things that, you know, I control. They're not going to control my thoughts. Mm-hmm. They're not going to be here on the rainy days or the sunny days. Mm-hmm. They they don't they don't control my life. And like I said, man, just, you know, in this time, I just I focus more on self. Yeah. I've learned more about myself. Uh, I mean, you you got people that know more about presidential candidates than they do themselves. That's a problem. You get what I'm saying? That's a huge problem. Uh, that's alarming. Yeah. And, so uh, then again, I don't want to ramble on about this too long because we can go all day. But do you? So because of that, do you think people they shouldn't do so much research and shouldn't be so? so focused on their vote and do you know what I mean because people can really go deep into their yeah. I don't know who I'm going to vote for I'm going to you know what I mean because it doesn't matter because yeah. it's about self right right. right. should the vote kind of not be so what's the, I don't know what the word I'm looking for my thing is what's your purpose why are you doing mm-hmm. it you know what I'm saying you know okay you're you're not you're not for Trump Right. So what you're posting on social media, what you're tweeting, what you're digging up on Trump, is it is it because he's just that bad of Mm -hmm. a candidate or do you just not like him? And so, you know, let me be emotional Mm -hmm. and and, and find this article or find this meme or, or repost something that somebody else is saying about him mm-hmm. you know or if, if it's joe biden you know what i'm saying yeah. or, or are you are you you know are you criticizing him you know what i'm saying being fundamental mm-hmm. and you know what i'm saying or are you criticizing him you know being emotional and or because you don't like him yeah um and i i, I think that's what it is man I, I i think you know as as a people you know, we 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 act out of emotion. I don't know, man. It's, it's, it's kind of a it's kind of a, a dangerous territory. Yeah. Uh, you know, being that emotions change. So, yeah. like I said, man, you just you got you got to find your niche, man. You got to find your niche. Uh, you got to find your groove, and uh, you got you got to run your race. Mm-hmm. You get what I'm saying? Uh, and then it's you know, as far as you know, politics. Mm-hmm. You know, whatever's best for you. It's best for you. Uh, leave the emotions out of it, mm-hmm. and you know we'll see within a you know a month or so. Um, who's gonna be sitting in the Oval Office? What's going on, everybody? It's Jay Duke. My name is Mark Brown. Hey, bro, come on, turn up, man. Hey, you gotta wake up, bro. What's good, y'all? My name is Mark Brown. Make sure y'all keep watching, man. We got great content on the way. Make sure y'all keep checking us out.